All right, boys, today we're at a junkyard, and there's actually a 1980 El Camino that I found, and uh, I'm not getting anything off this. There's too many bullet holes in the fenders, and it's been picked through. It's been here since, uh, I think, November or October. But story is, I've had the orange El Camino, the 83, for four years now. I've never bled the brakes, and I went to flush the whole system yesterday, and not a single bleeder valve would open. It didn't leak out any fluid. So I, it's about time that I need to flush the whole system, replace the rotors, replace the calipers, replace the pads. So I thought maybe I can just do an upgrade. And I looked into it and you can actually get an upgrade from a one piston setup on each caliper in the front to a two piston caliper setup by using a 99 to 2005 Chevy Blazer. It has to be a two wheel drive. So I think there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Blazers out here. Hopefully they haven't been picked through yet, but uh, we'll see what we can get. And we're getting everything from the spindle out. So spindle, rotor, caliper, uh, pads, probably not and then uh, the bleeder screws of course and maybe the rubber lines and then I'll also replace all the metal lines in my El Camino as well. So I'll show you around this El Camino and then uh, we'll try and find our first blazer. So she's pretty picked through. They got all the chrome trim off of it in the bed. They got the engine and the transmission. I would have robbed the trans because uh, the one that I replaced is leaking. Um, but yeah, they got that. They've gotten everything off of it. They got the rotors. I was going to grab those if they had them. I mean, the really only thing that I could grab is the coils in the rear, but that's not even worth it for me. And I'd say the only thing left. It, no, the hood's dented. Never mind. So yeah, check out this bullet hole. Oh yeah, that's her. So let's go find her blazer. Here's something pretty cool. It's a uh, 88 Fiero. So uh, I guess you could say it's uh, kind of like the Corvair. I'm pretty sure they uh, catch on fire a lot. Their rear engine. Um, yeah, just another weird GMC. Moving on. All right, so we found our first blazer. Not sure, looks like it's a 97. No, that's not a 97. Let's see. It's an 04, so perfect. Found the uh, front disc brake assembly. It has it on both sides, and I'm not a junkyard guy, so I called to make sure what that orange paint means, make sure it's okay. He just said that that means they strapped a bomb to it, so it, it's all good. Um, we would be able to harvest these parts off of it, but it has the uh, it's four wheel drive. So that's not good. And um, I'm gonna, we're also gonna need the master cylinder for it. Um, so I'm gonna set you guys up and try and see if this is the right model. Um, what we're looking for is one that starts with the part number NH, I believe. That just means that it's a shorter reservoir because if you get the other one, then it's a taller reservoir and you won't be able to shut your G-body hood over it. So I'll set you guys up and uh, try and find out what it is.
got holes drilled in it anyway, so she's clapped. And then just three rows back here, there's a uh, Jimmy, which is Chevy or GMC's equivalent, but pretty sure that's also four wheel drive. And then we've got another Blazer here, four wheel drive. So we're gonna keep looking. Yep, nope. Look at this convertible Jeep Cherokee. I ran the VIN and there were only 212 of these made. It was a limited edition convertible and it even came with a uh, supercharged air filter. Isn't that so sick? All right, we're down to our last three Blazers. We've got two of them right here, one on my left, one on my right and uh, four wheel drive, four wheel drive. I think the last one might be down there. It might be crushed, but we'll check that out. All right, that's dope. She's a four wheel. So I don't even know if I should even look for the Jimmies because I don't know. I mean, I'd assume that GMC would sh be the same as Chevy, I mean. I guess I'll look for it. Um, that's the end of the Blazers. Didn't get lucky. Who knows what I'll do next. Alright, so look what I found. 66 Galaxy. Let's see how mint she is. Damn. Door panels. And seats aren't even... Oh, the driver's side is... Oh, there's a crack in the dash. <laughs> yeah, it's full. Hold on. Engine's still there? Let's see. Steering wheel's mint. But look what we have behind. You guys know that front end. This thing. West Coast Classic Cougar didn't even get this boy. There's probably a reason why. It's clapped out. This one's a 72. The engine looks sick. Alright, that's probably going to end it for this video. I did not get lucky, so I'll probably film a video of me, I guess, just doing a stock replacement on the El Camino. I wasn't too worried about getting an upgrade, but I just thought may as well try film a video of me looking through the yard. And maybe if you guys go to a yard near you, you can find a 99 through 2005 um, Chevy Blazer. It has to be a two wheel drive. And uh, make sure you get that master cylinder with a, uh, I think it's an NH, it's the short reservoir. And yeah, you'll have practically two times the amount of braking power and I even heard that you have better steering for some reason but it's a legit plug and play replacement so uh, go out and try it if you need it or go out and try it and have fun um, sorry we didn't get the results we were uh, looking for but uh, maybe in the next video like comment subscribe see you boys all right we just scored boys it was a good day on my way out this is sitting on a counter I asked how much she said three bucks and I was like deal I don't know if it works but I'm happy